Right now at 10, the 3,000 acre fire that began north of Fort McCoy rages on. Installation officials aren't confirming cause. And light at the end of a PFAS tunnel. The town of Campbell officials believe they may have found a new source of clean water. Plus, Minnesota communities are on flood watch. One state official says most homeowners in Minnesota are missing a step in their preparations. Watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. The so named Arcadia Fire in Monroe County is still burning tonight, and officials say roughly half of it is contained. At a press conference this evening, emergency management officials say around 3,000 acres have burned. The evacuation area was expanded for a short time tonight, covering an area south of Arcadia Avenue to County Road E, but that evacuation order was lifted about an hour ago. Now, Army officials from Fort McCoy spoke at tonight's press conference, offering condolences for residents near the installation who were displaced because of the fire. When asked about how the fire started, officials say they're investigating. The exact cause of the fire is still unknown at this time. We do know that we were doing, a pres we were doing prescribed burns. Uh, risk assessments were done, evaluations were done. Uh, this, is, this has visibility at the highest levels. The Secretary of the Army is tracking this down to all the ad people at Fort McCoy. Major General Baker said these prescribed burns were happening all week and they found a minor burn happening yesterday. He said these burns are routine before the summer training season. And that's why we're going to investigate what the cause of this and, and go into more detail. So, and one of the reasons is that this is the height of the training season. We have over 2,000 soldiers coming into the, into the base and prescribed burns really set the conditions and there's going to be a lot of live fire going on and instead of Instead of the ammunition and the tracers starting the impact area and having a very uncontrolled burn, this is a measure that we take to set the conditions so that we have successful training throughout the year. Now officials say most of the burned areas are on Fort McCoy and 70 acres have so far burned off the military installation. Emergency officials have changed the evacuation center from the Warrens Community Center to the Lunda Center in Black River Falls. Dozens of residents were evacuated multiple times over the past 24 hours. Earlier today, at least one resident was hopeful that the winds would bring the fire away from their property and let crews get it under control. I'm still concerned, but I feel a little more secure with the wind going away from us, but there's still other people that it's in their direction now, so. Frost says he's making preparations to protect his property in case that fire spreads to his area. Meantime, a restaurant in Warren's called The Pines has had doors open all day to give evacuees somewhere to go. The restaurant's owners are offering food to those residents as well as first responders and emergency management officials. One resident who was evacuated says he's thankful for the support. The community has been great. Um, yeah, I've known the owners here at The Pines for uh, probably a year, year and a half now, and yeah, they know me very well, so yeah. It's nice that they're serving food for us and stuff, so that's helpful. Meantime, the Buffalo County Sheriff's Office has issued an all clear after multiple wildfires in the area, including a brush fire in Mondovi. Earlier today, one fire forced a brief shutdown of State Highway 35, and Highway 37 south of County Highway B was down to one lane at the time due to a significant fire. And I mean, there's a large swath of the state of Wisconsin under these fire watch alerts, red flag warnings and things of that nature. So let's go over to Bill with the latest. Yeah, and most of the red flag warnings uh, again expired at eight o'clock and that's common where they are in play for the afternoon hours, the early evening hours. That's prime heating. That's when it's usually uh, the strongest winds and the air is the driest. The humidity levels are the lowest as well. So uh, that has expired, but there is already a fire weather watch which kind of precedes a red flag warning for La Crosse and points north and east for Friday. Uh, again, as I've been saying all week, until we get some decent moisture across the area, the fire danger conditions are going to remain on the high to critical side. So even if you're not technically under this fire weather watch, I just would not do any outdoor burning until the weekend at the earliest when we are expecting some rainfall. That's because we have the dry, dead vegetation in play. The green up hasn't started yet. The soil temperatures are a lot warmer, so we just need some rain to kind of activate the plants. Uh, warm temperatures, low humidity, and gusty winds in store once again 
for our Friday. Now some good news this evening. Uh, winds are out of the south uh, 5 to 15, still gusting around 20 miles per hour in a few spots. But earlier, uh, again, there were a lot of wind gusts 20 to 35 miles per hour. So those winds are starting to slacken. Now another very warm day. Record high of 85 in La Crosse, 87 in Eau Claire and Black River Falls, 82 in Viroqua. That record today, 85. The old record was 80, set in 1941. Current temperatures now in the 60s and 70s, still 73 in La Crosse, 69 in Eau Claire, 72 in Winona. Another very mild night. Lows in the 50s for most, 58 in La Crosse. Those winds probably will come down into the 5 to 15 range for most of the night. And then they pick up again tomorrow afternoon. 75 by lunchtime, afternoon highs around 82 degrees. But these will be uh, tomorrow will be the last mm -hmm. of these warm and breezy days because big changes on the way for the weekend. I'll have the details in just a few minutes. All right, Bill. Thanks very much. Back on the news side of things this evening, the father of a missing Winona mother's children denies any involvement in her, the mother's disappearance and says he is cooperating fully with authorities. Adam Fravel issued a statement Wednesday that law enforcement advised him not to attend any news conferences or assist in the searches for 26-year-old Madeline Kingsbury because of safety concerns. But a spokesperson for the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension told CNN today that she's not aware of any law enforcement agencies advising that. Kingsbury was last seen the morning of March 31st. CNN reports Winona County Health and Human Services have taken custody of the two young children since Fravel does not have custodial rights. People living in the town of Campbell have been drinking from bottled water for two years now after cancer-causing chemicals were found in the town's groundwater. Now the town is drilling deeper. News 8 Now's Anna Fisher joins us live in studio with an update from officials. Hey, Anna. Good evening, Ken. The man-made chemical PFAS, known as a forever chemical, has been contaminating drinking water in the town of Campbell for years. Now, after drilling a 500-foot test well, the town supervisors have found something that may be a source of clean drinking water. According to town supervisor Lee Donahue, an ancient river believed to be tens of thousands of years old was discovered at the drilling site, the Norm Wardwell Memorial Park in French Island. Because it's an ancient river and the fact that the water in this river was generated years ago, right, there's no risk that human uh, activities could have contaminated this lower level. The fact that there's a barrier of several layers of rock that overlay this water source, it's a lot more protected and, and our, our residents deserve Donahue says they will begin pumping water from the well next week, and that water will be tested for PFAS and other contaminants. Now, Donahue doesn't anticipate that the new water source contains any PFAS, but she says they will know more after samples come back mid-May. Ken? Anna Fisher reporting. Thanks very much. And Donahue says there has been talk of creating a series of wells to make a municipal system for the town of Campbell. Of course, that project would potentially cost millions. Meantime in La Crosse, Senator Tammy Baldwin is meeting with local health leaders and police to discuss mental health services. Senator Baldwin joined a roundtable at Family and Children's Center in La Crosse today to learn how the community is using federal grants to address what she calls the mental health crisis. Baldwin's work in the last federal budget included $450,000 for FCC to expand their services and programs. Baldwin says the grants allow local groups to create innovative science-based programs that can then be continued with local funds. She says more mental health access can create long-term community improvements. I feel even during fiscally constrained times that um, community leaders have made the argument that a, uh, you know, an ounce of prevention uh, is uh, more cost-effective than a pound of cure. Baldwin also visited Durand to see the impact of over $900,000 that went toward their EMS services. A local waste management service is bringing back a spring cleaning tradition. Harder's Quick Cleanup is hosting its 13th free shred event from 8 a.m. to noon this Friday and Saturday. Anyone's welcome to come by their office on Larson Street, and your first 100 pounds of documents are free to shred. Anything more than that will be charged. Harder Sales and Customer Service Manager says they shredded 14 tons during the last free shred, and demand stretches far and wide. We've had people from as far away as Preston and Rushford, Winona, Minnesota. Um, it's, it's a good service for everyone. We service quite a large area with it as well. Holmquist said there may be a line, but Harders will do its best to make sure everyone gets in and out quickly. 
Coming up, a 21-year-old is arrested over classified files leak about the Ukraine war. U.S. intelligence says the files could strain ties with NATO allies and open Ukraine to more Russian attacks. Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. Buy anything in the store at our Wesco price and get the second item half off. That's right, buy one, get the second for half price with free white glove delivery and setup this month only at Wesco in Sparta. Hello, my name's Boris, Boris Gump. Chocolate? Mama always said buying a car was like a box of chocolates. Never know what you're gonna get. Me and Jenny, we buy all our cars at Sleepy Hollow. They got new cars and used cars, a body shop, parts and everything. By me and Nate, the Sleepy Hollow service man, we just like peas and carrots. I'm not a smart man, but if you need a car, you should be running to Sleepy Hollow. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988-24-7. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. Buy anything in the store at our Wesco price and get the second item half off. That's right, buy one, get the second for half price with free white glove delivery and setup this month only at Wesco in Sparta. A member of the Massachusetts Air National Guard is behind bars, accused of leaking sensitive documents related to the war in Ukraine. CBS News correspondent Nicole D'Antonio reports on the day's events from the White House. CBS Boston News captured video from above as FBI agents arrested the suspected leaker of Pentagon documents. We do have stringent guidelines in place for safeguarding classified and sensitive information. This was a deliberate criminal act. Massachusetts National Guard Airman 21-year-old Jack Teixeira was taken into custody outside his mother's home south of Boston. Federal officers swarmed the home one week after the Pentagon first discovered the highly classified documents posted on social media. The leak started in the fall. The arrest stunned neighbors in North Dighton. Well, it's just a small town. Unless you live in the area, you don't even know it exists. You know, overwhelming. <laughs> it's just overwhelming. The documents were allegedly posted on a gaming platform called Discord, whose members were mostly teenagers. The Washington Post interviewed a member of the group who said the leaks began with text messages quoting classified documents and then photographs of the actual documents. As a member of the intelligence wing, Teixeira installed fiber optic cables at a base in Massachusetts. Federal officials are trying to figure out how he got access to the confidential documents. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, The White House. The New York Times says a digital trail led journalists to the suspect, and the Times reporter showed up at his childhood home just before the FBI arrived. Still ahead, Minnesota officials and the National Weather Service on alert for river flooding. One state official says there's something most Minnesota homeowners are overlooking when preparing for high water. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. The other concern, of course, the fire danger, but with rain in the forecast this weekend, uh, that should really help. Now, also, the very warm temperatures, 82 on Tuesday, 90 yesterday, 85 today, one more tomorrow, but then wait till you see the temperatures expected for Sunday. That's coming up next. No one gives you more choices than Dahl Auto. We have the best selection in the region with over 400 new vehicles from nine different brands. Schedule a VIP appointment or buy online at DahlAuto.com. Menards has everything to transform the look of your home, adding to your curb appeal. Ideal garage doors add a stylish new look to the outside of your home. We have more than 1,000 different style and color options to choose from. Give your home the update it deserves and save with 11% off all Ideal Garage Doors. Save today and get a 9x7 garage door for $629.99 after 11% rebate right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. A Stressless is your place, a place to relax, a place to unwind, and it's on sale now at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. 
Right now, you'll save $400 on all classic power recliners, signature base recliners and ottomans, and cross base recliners and ottomans. Plus, receive $400 off most sofas and love seats. Imagine how much you can save building your dream sectional. Stressless, the most comfortable seating in the world, on sale now at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Voted your favorite furniture store. There are so many things we take for granted. So many things. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for their survival for granted too. The elderly, disabled, the veterans, people on limited and fixed incomes, or folks that lost jobs in sectors hardest hit during the pandemic. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? Some people just can't come back. And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind, struggling to keep their heat, water, and power on. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our heat, water, and power providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. The new cars are rolling in at Dahl Auto with over 400 vehicles available. While other dealers have brochures, we have the newest models on the show floor with all the latest technology and safety features. Experience them for yourself at Dahl Auto. Spring is a great time to plan your next home improvement project. Call now for a free estimate on windows, doors, siding, sunrooms, decks, baths, kitchens, or flooring. could have impacts all across Minnesota. The heavy snowfall we had this winter increasing that risk. Caroline Cummings shows us what steps state officials are taking and things you can do at home to protect your property. In the land of 10,000 lakes, Minnesotans are no strangers to water, but the hope is that it stays in stream and doesn't spill over and threaten communities. The system that works between federal, state, local, agencies around, especially flooding, is well perfected. State officials anticipate a flood season that could pack a statewide punch from areas near the Mississippi and the St. Croix to the Red River Valley. National Weather Service meteorologists are watching weather patterns and monitoring river levels. This is protecting Minnesotans and we're going to always err on the side of caution. Lieutenant Colonel Rob Wilkins with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in St. Paul says they've stockpiled flood fighting materials like sandbags or pumps at their facilities. His teams are monitoring conditions too. So that they are ready and can quickly be positioned where they're needed as the waters rise. The National Weather Service calls St. Paul a hot spot because of the convergence of rivers here. The Mississippi expected to crest next week, but the city is already taking steps to prepare, closing water streets starting Friday afternoon. A homeowner is 27 times more likely to experience a flood versus a fire over the course of a 30 year mortgage. And yet Julia Dreyer with the Minnesota Department of Commerce says Minnesota has the lowest percentage of households with flood insurance in the country. She says homeowners insurance alone probably won't cover it. So check your policy and consider adding extra insurance protection too. There's a misconception that Pe FEMA is gonna swoop in after a flood and hand out money and FEMA doesn't do that. So as officials prepare for the worst, the National Weather Service says there are a few factors that could make conditions better. The lingering impact from the drought last year means the ground can absorb more moisture. But I tell you what, flood season, fire season, Bill, Mother Nature throwing a lot at this viewing area. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like we need some rainfall across the region to suppress the fire danger, but we yep. don't want too much to elevate what's already going to be some high water levels right. from the snow melt. But uh, another thing helping uh, from this past winter, we had a fairly deep snowpack early on, so not as much frost got into the ground depth wise. Uh, so that's actually helping uh, some of this uh, melting snow. The water kind of permeate the soil instead of run off all into the water uh, streams, creeks and rivers. So uh, a couple of slivers of good, new good news there uh, from our past winter, but uh, a lot of water still heading our way uh, from upstream. All right, fire weather watch first of all for tomorrow uh, for areas near and north and east of La Crosse. Again, this may be expanded as uh, this may turn into another red flag warning for tomorrow. But again, uh, no matter where you live in the tri-state area, it has been dry and the fire danger remains high. So just keep that in mind. Uh, winds out of the south at about 5 to 15, gusting to 20. But again, uh, just a couple gusts upwards of, uh, say, 18 to 24 miles per hour. So nothing like we saw 
earlier today, so those winds die down just a little bit uh, overnight. High today, 85, 59 is average, 80 uh, is our record high set in 1941. That's what we broke today. And here's another issue. We're an inch and a third below average for the month of April, so it's been a dry month so far. 73 degrees still out at the airport, 72 downtown. Uh, relative humidity has come up to 30 percent. It was as low as 18 or 19 percent earlier, and the Mississippi rising 9.66 feet, and that trend will continue. Uh, just like the Chippewa River is above flood stage, 774.6 uh, might rise a little bit more but uh, could crest in the next uh, day or two for you folks in Eau Claire. But river flood warnings in play from Eau Claire downstream to the Mississippi along the Chippewa River and already river flood warnings for the Mississippi around Wabasha, a river flood watch for the rest of the area along the Mississippi all the way from Lake City down through Prairie du Chien. It looks like it's going to crest sometime between April 20th and 27th in most of our communities. So we've got a ways to go, but those water levels will continue to rise. Uh, current temperatures, uh, lots of 70s still at this 10 o'clock hour, uh, if not 70s, mainly 60s. All Though a cool spot, 55 degrees in Black River Falls with a mainly clear sky. Now out to the west, we've got kind of a stalled out frontal boundary, which is dividing winter type precipitation to our summer conditions. But eventually this front's going to get a kick. Low pressure is going to ride along it, and that's what's going to bring the rain chances over the weekend. Not tonight, not tomorrow. Winds relax a bit tonight, but they pick up again from the south tomorrow, so that's what's going to increase that fire danger. But watch as we head into Saturday. Uh, some scattered showers, even some thunderstorm chances as that system rolls in from the west, and then rain still likely as we head into Sunday. Much colder Sunday. In fact, some snowflakes could mix in in some spots. So 58 tonight, clear, very mild. Winds decreasing a bit. They pick back up tomorrow, though. High fire danger with a sunny to partly cloudy sky. Highs around 82. No uh, three days in a row for records because record high tomorrow is 90 degrees, so that'll stay safe. 70 still on Saturday with that chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Not going to rain all day, but periodically. And then still rain on Sunday, maybe a mix in spots, windy and much colder uh, or cooler, 47, 53 on Monday, 60s for much of next week, some periodic, at least slight chances for rain next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. All right, Bill, thanks very much. Right. Coming up next in sports, a lot of great action on the pitch tonight, plus good old-fashioned rivalry on the ball diamond. Central and Onalaska going back and forth at Copeland today. Rob's got that much more next. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Your health care should be unique to you. At Mayo Clinic Health System, they get to know your story and customize a treatment plan that fits your needs. Get ready for the Spring Gift and Craft Show at the Onalaska Omni Center. Shop more than 100 of the best gift and craft vendors on April 15th and 16th. Entry is free, but we are accepting non-perishable food donations. Don't miss the Spring Gift and Craft Show. Spring into savings and refresh your home at Ashley. With up to 30% off designer picks, where we have a selection of items created by our elite team just for you. Plus, special financing options for every budget, only at Ashley. Three-time ACM Entertainer of the Year and eight-time Grammy Award-winning superstar, Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood, in concert. Treasure Island Amphitheater, Friday, July 21st. Get tickets now at TICasino.com. For more, visit CarrieUnderwoodOfficial.com. Dings, dents, scratches, big crunches. You know where to bring them. Pishke Motors Collision Center on 2nd Street in downtown La Crosse. When you've got a crew of professional body and paint technicians like ours, you provide them with the latest in repair equipment. And that's what we've done in this state-of-the-art, environmentally friendly facility. We have customer drive-in lanes, soft-touch, 24-hour car wash. So when the dings, dents, scratches, and even the big crunches happen, bring them to Pishke Motors Collision Center on 2nd Street in downtown La Crosse. At Ashley, spring into slumber with a variety of comfort choices from top mattress brands like Ashley Sleep and Sealy. Or get 0% interest for 60 months on select mattresses. Visit your local Ashley store or ashley.com for better sleep and savings today. Get ready for the Spring Gift and Craft Show at the Onalaska Omni Center. Shop more than 100 of the best gift and craft vendors on April 15th and 16th. Entry is free, but we are accepting non-perishable food donations. Don't miss the Spring Gift and Craft Show. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. 
One of the area's best rivalries living up to it this afternoon, a back and forth battle at Copeland Park. I wish I could have stayed the whole game because these two squads providing the firepower early and often in this one. Central hosting rival on Alaska on the diamond. Hilltoppers score two in the first, but the Riverhawks respond. Casey Erickson drills it to second. The play can't be made cleanly. Mason Elston scores to make it 2-1. Second inning on Alaska answers back. Two on for Caden Kokeisel. The junior is going to give this one a ride. He finds the gap in left center. One runs in. Here comes Ben Sturr. Big two RBI hit makes it 4-1 Hilltoppers. Bottom two now. Here come the Riverhawks again. This time Mason Elston driving one in. Line drive base hit in the center. Zach George scores to make it a two-run game. Then with the bases full, Drew Wonderling is going to clear him. This ball's driven deep to left. Stays in the air forever and it finally comes down on the warning track. All three runs are going to come in a score for Central. Clutch three RBI hit from Wonderling gives the Riverhawks a 5-4 lead at that point. Central wins a marathon over rival on Alaska, 16-9. Moving to the Cooley Conference, softball action as Viroqua visits West Salem. Bottom of the first, Panthers down three when Josie Burdos launches a shot over the center field fence. Panthers down by one. Two in scoring position now in the bottom of the third. There we go. What a hit up the middle. Panthers up Four to three. Same inning now. Grace Peterson is going to drop a single in a shallow right. That brings in Rosler. Panthers now up by two. Top of the fourth. Blackhawks getting their offense going. Zoe Clark rips one in a right field. Viroqua now down one. Then Bryn Swenson grounded through the left side of the infield. That brings another across the dish. We're tied at five. More Viroqua. Braylon Zitzner base knock in a shallow center. Blackhawks go up one. They would add one more in the inning to go up. 7-5, jump to the bottom of the seventh. One run already in for West Salem. Megan Johnson drives this pitch to the outfield wall. Huge triple, ties it at seven. Then with Johnson just 60 feet away from home, Peterson with the grounder. It's going to reach the outfield grass. West Salem with the walk-off winner as the Panthers top Viroqua 8-7. Staying in West Salem, the Panthers hosting Logan Luther. Pick action up in the 43rd minute. Brindley Kelly working by defenders from the 20 yards out. Sophomore goes top shelf. Great shot. Panthers up 4-0. Just four minutes later, West Salem's Emily Graham centering pass to Kate Scar. She sneaks it in at the near post. Make it 5-0 Panthers at that point. We're still waiting to hear back for a final score. Let's stay on the pitch, but head to the MVC. Gorgeous night for soccer. Two rivals going head-to-head in -head Onalaska. River Riverhawks and Hilltoppers. Here we go. Onalaska up one until Gabby Jarman somehow finds the back of the net here. Great pass from Grace Wilkerson. It's one to one. Let's go to the second half now. Same score. Riverhawks looking to jump in front. Jarman comes close, but a great save. Keeps this one tied. Then later in the half, Central still on the move here, looking to take the lead. Elliot Dale's going to get a great chance, but again, it's Summer Nikolai coming up big for the Hilltoppers. Another great save from the Onalasa goalie. Keeps this one knotted at one. Riverhawks and Hilltoppers finish in a 1-1 tie. Let's stay on the MVC pitch. Aquinas hosting Holman tonight. The Vikings coming to play. First half already up 1-0. Nora Leeshock gets blocked. Brooklyn Zielke right there for the putback. Holman takes a two-goal lead. Second half now, corner kick opportunity for the Vikings. Kayla Allen, great strike. Right on the money to Ella Lechecki. The senior in the right place at the right time. It's 3-0 Holman. And the Vikings keep pouring it on. Check out this shot here from Olivia Schneider. A little floater. Just out of the reach, finds the back of the net. Absolute beauty, puts Holman up four. And here we go again. Allen, the corner kick. Zielke, the header. Perfect execution from the Vikings, puts them up by five. Holman cruises to the 6-1 win over Aquinas. Now, Ken, yes. I'm all about journalistic integrity. <laughs> I'm not there for instant replay. You know, I'm just there to have a good time, show yeah. the viewers what happened. Yeah. If Aquinas thinks that that was a handball on the first goal that we showed, I'm not saying they're wrong, yeah. but I'm not there for that. What right. do you think? You saw well, hey, I'm, I'm not going to get into that, but we you know what? That. You got the DVR at home. Rewind it. it. But it was a great shot. <laughs> to your heart's well, content. It was an accident. If it hit, it might have just, yeah. it, it wasn't intentional. <laughs> I forgot how many Pretty returning sure. starters are on that Holman soccer team, though. Yep. That's a loaded squad they right are. there. Yeah, that was awesome. Rob, thanks very much. You got it. We will be right back. Morning. Hardy's two for five dollar mix and match breakfast starts your day with made from scratch sausage and egg biscuits, biscuit and gravy, or sweet cinnamon roll. Pick any two, just five dollars. My rewards members get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. 
Every piece of land has a story written by those who work it. Like the Caggianos, who are brewing their own legacy. Or the Upshaws, who DIY all the time. While the Nelsons play lead in their own adventure, 150 years in the making. There's a story in every piece of land. Run with us and start telling yours. Talk to the John Deere experts at Tractor Central to find out which equipment is just right for your property. Start now at TractorCentral.com. Here's a dose of reality. Driving under the influence of prescription painkillers is just as illegal and just as deadly as driving drunk. In fact, drugged driving deaths in Wisconsin have increased nearly 200% over the past 10 years. Help prevent drugged driving and let's achieve zero preventable deaths on Wisconsin roadways. Driving on pills kills. At Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning, we know the Cooley region's weather is unpredictable. 40 degrees today, 75 tomorrow. Is your HVAC system fully prepared to effectively handle the stresses of the next season? Beat the inevitable rush and schedule your HVAC cleaning check today. Be confident your air conditioning unit and furnace will work when you need it. Call Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning, your trusted train comfort specialist. It's hard to stop a train. Your train comfort specialist, Bagnevsky. Provi offers an endless selection of steel and fiberglass entry systems. Every door is custom manufactured with the color, style of glass, and hardware you've chosen. They are as durable as they are beautiful. Maximum performance requires proper installation. Our installers are factory trained and certified by Provia. See and feel the quality of Provia doors in our showroom. Provia entry doors, patio doors, and windows are the best of the best when installed by the Board Store's factory trained installers. The Board Store, improving your home, improving your life. It's the Hardee's Star Deal Combo. Get a Hardee's Charbroiled Double Cheeseburger, crispy three-piece hand-breaded chicken tenders, or original hot ham and cheese with a small fry and drink for just $5.99. My Rewards members get exclusive offers on the Hardee's app. Today is Gold Star Grant Delivery Day in the La Crosse School District. The La Crosse Public Education Foundation selected 22 projects for their spring grants, totaling $41,000. The organization's executive director says there's enough to go by the imp to impact students of all ages from all across the district. These projects are submitted by educators and then selected based on their creativity and ability to engage students. Our teachers are excellent, stellar professionals. So to be able to give them resources to engage their students to a greater and higher degree is just a thrilling thing. Gold Star Grants are given to teachers multiple times a year. The La Crosse Public Education Foundation has awarded $90,000 in grants total this year. We'll be right back. Oh. Earn a 30 cent high V fuel saver for every $60 you spend. That's a 30 cent fuel saver this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Only at High V. Get an extra 20% off during our Spring Spruce Up event. Right now at Slumberland Furniture, get this Ashley sofa for just $3.99 in your choice of two colors. Incredible! Did you know Slumberland has the lowest prices on Ashley product? Jolivet Family Farms, known for farm fresh fruit and vegetables, but featuring so much more. Come see all that we have. Homemade bakery, large selection of locally produced honey, gourmet popcorn, craft beer, wine, and cheese, meat and seafood, arts and crafts, and so much more. There is no substitute for homegrown freshness. Open daily year-round. Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado and new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or current Chevy owners get 3750 total cash allowance on all 2023 Silverado pickups with a turbo high open engine. Visit hometownchevy.com. Papa Murphy's presents How to Change the Way You Pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. Right now, get the chicken garlic pizza for just $11.99 at papamurphys.com. It's the most hey. wonderful time of it's the 
Non-drowsy Claritin knocks out symptoms from over 200 allergens without knocking you out. Feel the clarity and make today the most wonderful time of the year. Live Claritin clear. Sleeping in pain or too hot? Come to Slumberland and get 20% off mattresses. Find your perfect mattress with our easy rating system and save big. Get a Sealy Queen mattress for just $4.99. Only at Slumberland. Save big this Friday through Sunday at High V. High V Choice Reserve 8 ounce ribeyes, just $7.99. Gallon pails of High V We All Scream ice cream, just $3.99. And 8 piece chicken tenders, only $10. Only at High V. One more warm day tomorrow and then some needed moisture for the weekend. Much cooler by Sunday, by the way. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.